I'm James White with Freak Interviews, specializing in as seen on TV reviews. Today I'm doing the Bell & Howell Disc Lights, the solar powered accent lighting. Let's get started. Okay, here are the Bell & Howell Disc Lights. As you can see, I bought it from Bed Bath & Beyond for 20 bucks. I used a 20% coupon, which knocked about four bucks off of it. Let's crack this open and see what's inside. Here are the contents. We got our arbitration agreement, which nobody reads. Here's the instructions. So when you use it for the first time, you're gonna turn the on off button and leave it in the sunlight for a for eight hours, which I will do right now. It's only nine o'clock in the morning, so we should have eight hours ahead of us. I can't tell if that's on or off. I actually don't know if it's on or off or not. In is on and raise is off, but I can't really tell much difference. I'm, I'm guessing that's on. I guess I'll know tomorrow if they didn't charge that that wasn't on. I think that's in. Let me try putting the stakes on one of these. All right, there we go, there we go. If I'm not mistaken, the commercial showed them being stuck with an adhesive on the back. I'm not seeing an adhesive on the back, nor did the instructions mention an adhesive on the back. I'm starting to wonder if they left that feature off, because I don't see it. Not there. The instructions also mention the stake assembly. And it says if laying on steps or any other flat surface, just lay it there. It doesn't say anything about sticking it to the wall. Hmm. I'm just going to pick a spot right here where I can see from the inside the house. This, this area gets a lot of sunlight. This one will stay in the sun all day out in the rocks. I'll let these three charge here in the sun and figure out how to do them later. One thing I wanted to mention was that the commercial seems to show the disc lights being mounted, but the instructions and the box says nothing about it. I went back and looked at the commercial and it does show them being mounted and it says using the hook and loop strips, which I assume they mean Velcro, but they can't say it for some reason, are how you mount them, but there's no way to do that in the box. So I guess you, if you want to mount them, you have to go and buy some Velcro strips to do it yourself. I'm not sure if maybe that was originally included in the packaging and they left it out. It's kind of weird the commercial shows it being mounted, but there's no way in the box to actually make that happen. There are so many lighted as seen on TV products out there. Take for example, Everbright right there, which was the second video I posted. Even though this died a couple months ago, it lasted 13 months. I kind of have sentimental value for leaving it up there, kind of to remind me of when I first started my YouTube channel. I haven't taken it down yet, it stopped working. But that's the first of many lighted as seen on TV products that I've done on this channel, with many more to come. I don't know what it is about the as seen on TV marketers that seem to like lighted products so much. Maybe they're easy to make, but they seem to be a never ending supply of them. All right, so that's what we got. Let's go over here. Watch out, Bailey. These are my solar powered lights I got at Kmart, I think for a dollar each, maybe two dollars each. I've had them for two years now. This is the disc light. This is the one I put in the ground earlier today. Um, it's about 8 p.m., so it's, it's been shining for a couple hours now. The ones on the table, I never did anything with those, but here they are. Now, it was a little bit cloudy today, so I'm not sure if this is the maximum brightness or maybe a, a sunnier day will result in better brightness. I'm not overly impressed with the brightness right now. You know, that was the first day. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt, see how tomorrow goes. I might put these in a little better placement as well. Um, because I think that if they're south facing, they'll actually perform better. So I'll probably find some better locations tomorrow and try it again the next day. Okay, Billy. It's definitely a sunnier day in Las Vegas. So I'm hoping that maybe tonight it looks brighter than it did last night because last night was pretty underwhelming. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this one here. I'm gonna leave one on the table also to compare because it was on last night. I'm gonna move these two to the front yard which faces south and see if I get better results with that. Good girl. All right, there they are. They've been out in the sun all morning already. I just moved them to the front yard. This, this will be the best chance that they have of getting maximum sunlight to see how the brightness is affected. I think tomorrow morning I'm gonna get up early and see if they're still on at the crack of dawn because I'll be curious if they actually do last 10 hours like they're supposed to. All right, here we go again. It's kind of windy out here, but there's my cheap Kmart light right there 
and back there is the disc light, which from back here doesn't look as bright as the cheap Kmart light. The disc light had more time to charge today, I think. It wasn't as cloudy. It doesn't seem any brighter than it was last night. Here's the one on the table, same thing. Wow, it's kind of windy out here. I don't know, it doesn't really seem that bright to me. Let's go out front and see how those look. All right, these were these were in the yard, in the south facing yard all day long, and they don't really seem much brighter to me either. I'm not overwhelmed by their brightness. What do you guys think? And the sun is just coming up. My cheap Kmart lights are still on. Disc lights aren't. Oh, this one's barely on. That's barely on. Let's go check out front. Yep, it's 5.50 a.m. How are these two looking? Those two are not on. It's like one of the four is barely lit. It's supposed to last 10 hours. It's been 12, so I shouldn't expect too much, but my other lights did last. Next up, I wanted to see how watertight it really is because the commercial says that it has a watertight seal. So I got a hose with kind of a wide spray to kind of hit it with different angles, and it did pretty well. All right, it is 10.30 at night. Current temperature is 44 degrees. It's not gonna get below freezing in Vegas tonight, so it will not turn to ice because I'm gonna put some water on this. This is the Hercules hose. I'm going to water the disc light. It supposedly has a watertight seal. Oh, Belly doesn't like that. Belly, what's the matter? You don't like that? Seems like it's holding up pretty well. I'm trying to get kind of underneath there a little bit too. A lower angle. She's trying, she's trying to bite it. Look at her. Oh, she's getting, she's biting it. Billy, get it. Get it, Billy. The sun is just going down, so I'm going to move these into the garage for some time-lapse action and see how all the different ones and different placements do, how long they really last, because right now, 10 hours from when the sun goes down is about 3 in the morning. I'm not going to do that. So we'll let the time-lapse figure it out for us and see how long the batteries really last. I'm going to say this is number one. This is number two. The front yard will be numbers three and four. Right, Bailey? Bailey likes that. Okay, here's my setup for my time lapse. I got my old school Sony action cam. I've got my four disc lights and I've got my clock right here. It doesn't look like from what I can tell, that the, these four lights are even lighting that clock up very much. The time lapse will show you how long these last. As you can see, it's almost 6 p.m. The sun just recently set. 10 hours from now should be about 4 a.m. when these start dying out. Let's see if that is actually true. Now what you're watching here is a time lapse of all four disc lights. Number one was out in my yard in the back. Number two was on a table in the backyard. Three and four were in my front yard a few feet apart. As you can see, number four went out first and the others kind of followed. Number two, which was on the table, seemed to last the longest. So even though I thought I was placing them kind of in similar sunlight, just different areas around the yard seem to make a difference on how long they lasted. That said, I would say that their claims that it lasts 10 hours is accurate. It is 7 a.m. the next day. It's interesting that one is still on. It could be the placement, maybe a better battery, maybe a better solar panel. All right, so I'm gonna put them back on this on this table because this is the one that seemed to be lit up longest. I should also mention the one that was in the yard, when I went to take the stake out, this piece broke off in there. I'm not gonna necessarily blame the product itself, but it's a little disappointing that that happened the first time I try to remove it. All right, so here's what I like about the Bell & Howe disc lights. I like the way they look. They're kind of a cool, stylish design. The fact that it's flat, you can place it on a table, on steps, along your walkway, it's kind of cool in that respect. And they do last the 10 hours that's advertised, so I give them credit for that. Now, what I don't like about them, there's, vertical mounting is not included in the box, which the commercial kind of implies there would be. They're not very bright. Now, this might look bright on camera, but watch this. This is the atomic beam tap light with some of Bailey's hair on it. Now, I know it's different because this is battery powered. It's not supposed to really be accent lighting, but look at the difference in brightness. They pale in comparison. My accent light in the backyard is also a little bit brighter than these, and they last longer. And those were only, I think, a dollar or two a piece. I'm just not sure these are as good as some options that are the same price or less. Have you used the Bell & Howell disc lights or something like them? Tell me what you think in the comments below. While you're at it, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, where I'll post additional pictures as I'm doing my product reviews. And please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, The Freaking Reviews.